Hello and welcome to another exclusive good e-reader video. This is Nick. Today I'm going to show you how to load ebooks on the Barnes & Noble Nook. What you first want to do is you want to grab your Barnes & Noble Nook. Now please excuse me, the autofocus will be on because I am doing this one-handed and I don't have time to focus. So what we want to do is plug in your e-reader, like so, with the micro USB cable. The small end will go into your e-reader and the big end will go into your computer. After that, after you plug it in, you're going to get a prompt that looks like this. It's going to say Nook, and then whatever drive number it is, and you want to select Open Folder to View Files. Now that we've opened the folder, it's going to look like this. This is your directory for the Barnes & Noble Nook. So, there are different um, folders here. There's the Adobe Digital Editions, there's the audiobooks where you'd put, uh, um, well, audiobooks. There's music where you put music files, documents where you put notepad files, text files, wallpapers for backgrounds, screen savers for, well, when your um, Nook goes into standby, and so forth. As for the e-readers, we just want to go put it into the root directory. We don't want to put it in any one of these. We don't want to put it in any folder. We just want to put it in the root. So what we're going to do right here is I downloaded a book to kill a mockingbird. So we can do this one of two ways. We can right click this, we can copy, go over to the directory, and we can paste. However, an easier way to do this is just to simply grab the file, drag it, and drop it onto the root. And there you see To Kill a Mockingbird on the Nook. So what we're going to do next is we're going to safely remove it. You see that it is uh, plugged in right now. That is the that is the symbol for it being plugged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the USB cable from the Nook, and it says that it goes to the standby screen, and at the bottom is the touch screen. So what we want to do now that we've loaded our book onto the Nook is press My Library. You will see right here, To Kill a Mockingbird has successfully been loaded onto our e-reader. Now, the top is not touch screen. You cannot touch anything on the top, the top screen. This is strictly e-ink. On the bottom, however, is all your navigational commands here. So we're going to press down, down again, to get to To Kill a Mockingbird. We're then going to press the OK button. And there you have it. There is the ebook successfully loaded onto your e reader, and you can press the sides to um, go through the pages. For Goody Reader, this is Nick.